Welcome back to Beauty and Wellness Labs Formulation Lab. I'm Taylor, the head chemist and the lead formulation scientist. Today we're gonna make something kind of unique. We are going to make a blue spirulina gel. Why are we gonna do that? Blue spirulina is actually one of the most potent anti-inflammatory compounds there is in the world. So when you put it on your skin, it's actually going to help reduce some of the redness and all the inflammation that we get just from being outside every day. So if you can put these anti-inflammatory compounds on your skin at night, it's gonna really help reduce all that. So let's get into it. We're gonna use a very specialized liquid form of blue spirulina already. To create the gel, we're gonna use something called carbomer. Carbomer is a really unique thing because at low pHs, it actually stays in a liquid form, and then you raise the pH and it turns into a very solid gel. Carbomer is what's used in a lot of the products that you probably know, say for example, aloe vera at the grocery store. That gel structure is made by carbomer. So let's go ahead and do that. So we're gonna add the spirulina. And a little bit of this stuff goes a really long ways. It's extremely blue and it's extremely powerful. So let's go ahead and add it in. We're gonna add it in drop by drop. One more. Okay, we got it. So we're gonna put the carbomer in. So with carbomer, you really have to be very gentle with it because it actually really does not like to go into water. So when you do put it in the water, you kind of got to do it slowly and you slowly mix it in. Otherwise it will all clump up and it becomes a massive pain in the butt to work with. So you got to put it in there and you just mix it around very slowly for the first few minutes. We've got the first phase of the carbomer dispersion down. So let's take it now and actually we're going to hit it with the homogenizer, which is going to really disperse it evenly. As you can see, it's really trying to blend everything up, but don't want to do it too quickly. Because if we do it too quickly, it's going to introduce too much air into the solution. And when you do that, you're going to be left with a very cloudy mixture. And we want to achieve a very crystal clear gel. So we've got the carbomer dispersed now. And as you can see, it's still totally a liquid. Okay, so what we need to do is raise the pH to do that, we're gonna use sodium hydroxide. And when we raise the pH, this liquid is gonna all of a sudden turn crystal clear and it's gonna turn into a gel that won't move at all. We've got the beautiful gel formed, the carbomers dispersed. You can see it's nice and thick. Look at that beautiful gel. So what can we really use this stuff for? Well, it's great for inflammation. So if you spent the day at the beach, you come home, your shoulders are a little burned, slather this stuff on. Or maybe you're just at the park all day and your face is feeling a little worn out at the end of the day. This stuff is gonna be like an anti-inflammatory moisture bomb. So just put it on wherever you're feeling a little tired on your skin. Thank you so much for tuning in to Beauty and Wellness Labs Formulation Lab and I look forward to seeing you guys next time.